Welcome to your video by DJSPRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. We do have the new SCX10 3 Base Camp 110 scale electric all wheel drive RTR vehicle in front of us. Uh, this is the blue one. There is a green one and kind of a beige white. It's hard to say. <coughs> This is based off the SCX-10 3. And let's take a look what it is exactly. It does have shackles in front. And I believe there is some in the back too. On the rear bumper, there is a place to put your uh, receiver to be able to tow your trailer. And I'm pretty sure these are beadlock rims too. It does have a 35 turn motor with a 40 amp Spectrum uh, ESC. It has EC IC3 connectors for the battery and an SR315 for your receiver inside. Let's take off the body. <laughs> it's not bad of a body. Now if we do look inside, it does have the mounting points for the S6 M3. They just added in the kit these guys here. Now if you do buy the S6 M3 uh, kit or an RTR, you do they do come with these inside. For you to be able to convert the kit uh, major difference you don't have the inner fenders this one does but there's one thing i do see that i'll confirm in a second here it does come with the aluminum pan hard that i do like uh, if you go with the scx 10 3 doesn't matter which one it doesn't come with a pan hard not in metal or aluminum should I say this one does uh, it does have adjustable shocks uh, and the three you do have the two position for your batteries that's still the same it's basically an a 6 3 with portals uh, basically undressed kind of you can say uh, it doesn't have the inner fender doesn't have the middle fenders to protect everything, preventing all the mud and, and whatever you're playing to go inside your vehicle. But besides that, for the price, I would say very good. It has links, a little uh, middle links in it. It's not as beefy, but at least they're not plastic. And like I said, it is portals. Now, there's a lot of people don't like portals because it's not kind of uh, scale. I, I like them. I do have the SX-10 3 and SCX-10 2. And I prefer my SX-10 3. There's more ground clearance for it. I like it. It has the uh, basic uh, Spectrum Servo. The S615, uh, S614 should I say with a 35 turn dynamite motor. And I was saying to you, the Spectrum Speed Control, uh, that looks like a rebranded dynamite speed control with the SR315. I just don't have the remote out. Uh, it does come with the SLT3 radio and you, were, you are able to use the third channel. Let's say you want to put a winch or if you do have a relay to be able to control your lights or if you, you put yourself a lighting system you couldn't be able to control it it doesn't have the dig or the two speed basically what i can see this guy has his transmission out of the scx 10 2 does have aluminum shocks adjustable 
We have the sh middle shock standoff. Shock towers are plastic. Metal frame. That I do like. Like I said, shackles. So it's not, it is, it's not bad, bad of a truck. Seriously. If you don't want to go full bore with an ACX-10 3 and you just want a machine to just have fun and bash around, I would say grab yourself the ACX-10 3 base camp, went in, went 10 scale uh, electric all-wheel drive RTR from Axial. I didn't try one yet, but if it rides similar to my ACX-10 2 that I do like a lot, I would say grab yourself this machine. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. It does help the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching.